have you guys heard about this story this is a pretty wild one right so this lady um decided to post on social media that her husband went missing <laughs> and i don't know about you guys but i've always admired guys who do this sort of stuff <clears throat> not because i want to do it not because it's admirable but just more so admired the balls on a man who could just walk out on his family it's one thing to walk out on your partner. I think we all probably have the ability to do that, especially if it's becoming super toxic and you don't know how to leave well. I think we all have the capacity to just stand up one day and just leave our partner if we don't have any kids and shit. Fair enough. But if you have kids, you, you actually have an actual family to just stand up and leave is fucking wild like the com you know the the running meme the running joke of like oh daddy went to go get some milk kind of thing right like i can't imagine doing that like i can't imagine having the balls to do that so when i see these stories i'm like bloody hell man the guys that do this sort of stuff must they must be made of some other shit they must be made of some other shit so it's courtesy of tmz women women sorry women women searches for women and um, women search for husband mia husband i'm filing for divorce thanks to the internet for tracking him down Ashley McGear, the woman who went viral by asking the internet sleuths to locate her missing husband and now that she found him is ending the marriage TMZ has learned. Ashley tells TMZ she received a text from her estranged husband Charles after the Facebook plea blew up online. She says Charles who goes by the name Charlie says he's willing to sit down and talk after Ashley walking out on the kids last year. Sit down and talk. You know what's funny as well? The husband, if I'm not mistaken, somebody found out that he was on like Top Chef or something. So as you can see in this picture, if you're not watching the video, um, I'm going to describe it to you. It's a picture of him in a restaurant somewhere. It's, I guess a restaurant that he worked at, kind of, you know, showing off that he's a top chef there probably, holding some dishes and shit, blah, blah, blah. So he allegedly is a legit chef, like a really good one. He was on a TV show um, and he works as a chef. That's what he does. So clearly being a good looking dude, who actually works as a chef if you go to another place in america most likely if you're you know if, if you're how most people are in the restaurant industry and you're fucking crazy cokehead you love to be you love to you love to fuck random fucking women that come into the bar and you're a bit of a lad your name's gonna get around so he was dumb because it's not like he switched careers and just kind of kept his head low or went to go work on an oil rig somewhere he went to another state and just picked up his career and just changed his name but it's like, bro, people will know you. You're easily recognizable. You're just redhead, good looking dude who is a chef. Do you know what I mean? And loves to lay pipe. You're going to fucking get found out. So I think some women on women online basically found him. Most of them found him through dating apps, casual, obviously. So he left his kids and he was still ready to fuck. He just didn't want to fuck his wife. And he also didn't want to look after his kids. So they found him on loads of um, dating apps. And then, of course, they found him working at some restaurant like you know being a head guy there and doing pretty well so it was pretty easy to kind of find him but the post itself was kind of hilarious and kind of tragic so this is the woman that she posted the thing on and again this is why you see the power of social media because facebook is a platform that i barely use if ever and it's still stuff on there ends up becoming viral on the internet so this woman just posted stuff i guess on her own private or like personal fucking facebook and somehow it was ended to kind of end, ended up being on the big web and stuff but i think the other part why this will end up blowing up i think there's a group there's a specific group on twitter that i've seen about women uncensored and there's a particular group i think on facebook about um i forgot the title but basically the the group is for women who are trying to look for guys who walked out on them and you know they obviously locate these guys super fast because women are incredibly good at kind of you know internet stalking and shit anyway going back to this this woman posts originally um is her name is ashley mcgear and she posted this i'm really about to test the power of facebook with this one this is my husband charles and again that's the picture above right um he loves to be the center of attention but i'm not sure how much he's going to like this last year when i was pregnant with our youngest baby <laughs> so they already have one already she's pregnant again with another one last year when i was pregnant with our youngest baby he decided to being a husband and a dad wasn't the lifestyle he wanted anymore and he ghosted like gone without a trace imagine ghosting your family when you hear the term ghosting you think of like young kids you think of like young people who are unable to like you know who are unable to be honest with about their emotions about their feelings they're unable to have uncomfortable conversations so the easiest thing they do is ghost i think i've done it in the past we've all probably done it it's not a good thing i think ghosting is abhorrent you should always tell people 
and vocalize and say suit with your words and be very clear and of course they continue you can then decide to block or delete or do whatever but the idea of just like ignoring somebody and hoping they get the message is kind of brutal especially if you've been talking before like that switch is kind of wild to kind of see play out in real time you go from hanging out and being cool and then suddenly the person gets disinterested and you don't hear from them again i think it's awful but when you hear the term ghosting you think of like gen z's or like really young millennials you don't think of like adult adults you know like again they could be young but you don't think you don't think you especially people that have families you don't think of like a family man ghosting his family you think of somebody that maybe changed his mind during an engagement process or whatever cool anyway he goes to his family um he was he has one baby he hasn't seen in over a year can you imagine that's why i think this is a controversial statement but hey bear with me that's why i've always thought guys who go out of their way to do that whole like oh now i have a kid i'm a changed man i'm lasered in i'm focused um when that baby came out when it smiled when the baby said the first word it changed something in me the connection's different i think that's just all like platitudes and pleasantries to make you sound like a good guy to make you sound like a beast of a dad i think it's all very much case by case I think there are some guys, their partner has a baby and it's just like another day. It doesn't really matter. They don't really care. If anything, it's an inconvenience. So I think this idea that, oh, when you get a baby, things magically change. It's like, no, it doesn't. It's like they do the same thing with women. They think like if a woman's super like, you know, um, irresponsible and ratchet and not taking responsibility of her life, suddenly she's going to have a baby and it's going to be different. It's like, no it's not the case it's like it's either you are going to be that person you are going to grow up or not or you know it kind of is what it is um because i think i've heard bill bird do it bill bird was the best of example i think he was like you know i think he basically quit drinking because he had kids and he was like oh he never wanted to be the guy who kind of comes home hungover and his kids see him or he's hungover in the morning and they see him he just didn't want that around so he decided to quit but i'm sure there are some people out there who have kids and who just decide when the kids in the next room they just have a line when the kids are next room they have a beer you know what i mean it's just like another thing it's like they don't really care it doesn't change how they act or how they behave at all in the slightest so the whole like oh i have a kid thing and now i'm different it's bullshit it continues he's moved somewhere out of state and changed his number <laughs> leaving your wife pregnant with another baby is the most scumbag shit you could ever do i swear to god that's like top level scumbag that's up there with like smashing your best friend's wife or something do you know what i mean or like smashing your best friend's daughter or something. You know what I mean? Like that's like on that level. That is so scumbaggy to leave your wife with a baby and another one coming. One in the oven and one that like, and then not seeing them in a year. Wow. What a piece of shit. Divorcing someone who's completely unreachable is really tough and drawn out. So I'm trying to track him down to get the signature on a few papers so I can finally close this chapter. I love how she said that in the second paragraph. She was like, look, I'm not trying to get him back because so, I want him. I want to divorce him and he'd be out of my life. I like how cutthroat this woman is. I've already, I've heard he's going by Charlie now. <laughs> he's a British and very charming. Oh, he's from England. Fuck. Big up, big up, big up. It, it makes sense though, isn't it? Look at this guy. He's, he, he could definitely steal your girl. You know what I mean, Charles can definitely fucking steal your girl. Um, He's British and charming as fuck. He's a chef and probably working in the hospitality industry somewhere. He's probably never mentioned having a wife or kids back in Massachusetts. Uh, if you know him, you're going working with him. If you're dating him or friends with him, can you please give him, um, get in touch with him and let him know where I can find him. All the girls out there, feel free to share. A friend of a friend of a friend has got to know where he is. And then the update guys this is absolutely insane i figured maybe someone in my area will still be in touch with him but i absolutely did not expect this i've gotten more and more and enough information to locate him i've literally had hundreds of messages to sort through some with information and some with support and i appreciate all of them single mums are a special breed and i know a lot of you have gone through the same situation i have that's the thing that's really sad about this situation single mums are a special breed but it's all it's all very common so it makes you think what is it about guys what is it about piece of shit guys that women just can't seem to get get away from it's almost like a moth to a flame it's almost like a like a you know like a fucking like a moth to a fucking light you know it's gonna kill you you know it's gonna be to your detriment but you just can't stop yourself being attracted to it like why do women seem to be always drawn to these because in my experience from my little anecdotal experience in life usually piece of shit guys are not the 
there are some piece of shit guys who are du- who are duplicitous, who are liars, who are able to put on a different mask and shit. But for the most part, piece of shit guys are very easy to tell. They have red flags that come up super early. And for some reason, women largely seem to want to ignore them. Or maybe in their head, they're like, you know what, I can fix him. So it's not as if they, these guys are like lying all the way. Yes, there are some that lie, I get it. But for the most part, they're very... I won't say they're honest, but their actions are honest. Their actions speak more than their words. So you could you could tell from how he acts and behaves, how he talks to you, right? That he's clearly like not a good dude, right? He's clearly up to no good. He's clearly gonna cause you a lot of heartbreak and pain, but they just can't stop themselves from being attracted to these type of people. So it's it, it wouldn't surprise me if, if Charles here had another family in wherever he was located at, do you know what I mean? Or he was in a serious relationship with somebody else. And it's like, come on, man. Like, don't you think it's a bit odd that you just bumped into this random guy that keeps moving around from state to state, doesn't stay in one location, doesn't seem to have any close friends, you know, like, (laughs) doesn't seem to want to talk about his past too much. Like, there's probably signs that this guy is like up to no good and he's definitely hiding something. But again, women seem to love these guys. It's unbelievable. Like a guy like this is not short of options always has kids always seems to have a has a you know a baddie to his side and shit it's kind of wild i'm not gonna lie please know that i truly do not wish him any type of ill will oh wow what a mature what a lovely mature lady fucking hell um i i since she basically realized that she married an absolute psycho and she just wants him out of her life as cleanly as possible she doesn't want any crazy shit because she knows he's a psycho God forbid he turns into OJ or something. Do you know what I mean? So she's probably doing that. But she probably was like, you know what? I got duped. Fair play. You got me there, right? You got me there. You know, twice, once bitten, twice shy. Fine. But she just wants, just stay away from me. Stay away from me and the kids. Don't worry. I've got money. I'll look after myself. You just stay there. Send us, send the child support checks when you can. If you can't, no problem. <laughs> let's continue i sincerely appreciate all of your support but please do not make threats spread hate or try to go out and locate him bro if this woman was black this message would be so much different she's so lovely if this is a black woman or latina woman or a latina woman like there would be violence like please bring your baseball bats please bring barbed wire please bring any weapons you may have no guns <laughs> um and we're going to convene at this one spot and we're going to go marching to his house and beat up anybody that we see, man, woman or child. Um, truly, I only want to see the situation resolved so me and my children can restart our lives and fix the damage done. That's the thing as well as the harshest part. It's the children, you know, the little bambinos, man, the little babies. At the end of the day, I get to come home to my babies and be their mum. So I think I win regardless. Exactly. Also, that karaoke video that everyone is sending, I did not think that was actually him. So I apologize to whoever it is for the karaoke being blasted over the internet. You did a great job, though. Thank you again for everyone. No, she seems fucking lovely. I'm sure there's probably loads of simps out there reaching out saying, look, I can be your stepdad, but yo, to go from this picture, you have to be a real piece of shit guy. To go from this beautiful wedding picture, right? And then to suddenly just leave your family and say you're going out for milk and never come back. You are a prime piece of shit. (laughs) Your piece of shit levels are like astronomical. You deserve an award. You know, a bad award, but definitely an award because fucking hell oh my god look they were together together like of course so many pictures of them (laughs) so yeah um big up uh, big up ashley big up fucking ashley big up motherfucking ashley we love to see it we love to see it we love to fucking see it 